Hello friends. Once again, welcome to our new class of mathematics that is you know, I Academy. And today we are going to discuss about two number system that is even numbers and odd numbers. Last class we discussed about fractions and multiples and how we apply it in our life. It's great that you people, I hope you are, all people have clarified on that issue. Now we'll discuss about even numbers and odd numbers. Right. Let's even numbers. Very important in our day to day life, we always use numbers. Suppose you get up from bed, if you want to go to a shop, you just want to take anything, you have to pay price. And for that, you always ask, what's the price? Yes. Then whenever he speaks, maybe 15 rupees, maybe 20 rupees, maybe 25, maybe 30. Here, mathematically, we can say those numbers either even or odd numbers. Okay. So let us know what is a odd number and what's an even number. If we take it's very simple, since a childhood, we know what is odd and even. Last time, I just want to give an example of even odd. How can we uh, relate it to our studies? Last time, when the pollution is at high level in Delhi, the Kajriwal government, you know, started what? For the amount of, uh, you know, vehicles, they want to curb it, they want to control it. So they made a new rule, even or rule. What does it mean? It means if the number of the last number of the vehicle is, you know, either two, four, six, eight, zero, they're called, you know, even numbers. Others, one, three, five, seven, nine, they're called odd numbers, right? So this pattern they have implemented and to some extent they got some relief also over there, right? So even numbers are nothing, but if the number either divisible by two, or it is a multiple of two, then that we call an even number, right? For example, let's take zero, two, four, six, eight. If these numbers are at the unit place, I mean, suppose two is there, four is there, six is there, eight is there. Zero cannot be a single number. Suppose something comes at the tenth place, that is one zero, two zero, three zero, four zero, five zero, two nine zero, then these numbers are even numbers. Okay, except that what is left, that is the numbers which are not even are called odd numbers. It means if we find a number at its unique place, what is present? One, three, five, seven, nine. Then we call these are what? Odd numbers. Okay, you can see when we take mobile phones, uh, on SIM cards, some people go for their lucky numbers. They find some numbers, special numbers, but exactly there is nothing like that. But these people, they believe like that. Okay, so there is one fact I just want to you know, tell you people. Two is the smallest even prime number and all the prime numbers except two are all numbers. Okay, now we will discuss about another thing that is what is prime and what is composite numbers, right? We discussed about even and odd numbers. Okay, that is regarding the unit place what number is there accordingly we divide numbers into those places now we'll discuss about prime numbers and composite numbers okay now try to discuss about composite numbers and prime numbers right suppose we take a number that is seven we take another number that is you know 18 right during this number in these two numbers what you can find is seven has how many factors Yes, first of all, we can say it is one, it is a what? This is a number which is only two factors, one and seven itself. There is no other factor here. What do you think of 18? How many factors are there over here? Yeah, there are many factors. Uh, last class we discussed how to find factors. Yes, one multiplied by 18. So we get 18, the two are factors. Then if we take two multiplied by nine, we get 18. So you get this is these two are also the factors. Then we also take three multiplied by six. Then we get three and six, both are the factors of 18, right? I think there is no other factors over here. So 18 has many factors. What are they? One, two, three, six, nine, and 18. These are factors of 18, right? These are the factors of 18. But seven, if you compare seven, it has only two factors one and seven right so here we can say if a number has only two factors only two 
two factors. What are they? If we take a number, one is you know the factor of all numbers we discussed last class. Now seven. Every number itself is a factor of its own, and every number itself is a multiple of its own. We discussed it earlier, right? So if a number has only two factors, that is one and that number, then that number is called a prime number. Then that number is called a prime number. Okay. On the other hand, if you see, if you take the case of eighteen, in eighteen, what happens? Oh, we take one. Two, three, six, nine, and eighteen. There are six factors. How many factors are here? Six factors are over here. Six factors are over here, including one and eighteen. These two are very common with every number. So, if a number has more than two factors, then that number is called a composite number. Are you clear now? This number is called a composite number. Okay. So I hope you are much clear about. What is prime number and what is composite number? Let me repeat once again for your clearance. Seven means if we take a number and that number has only two factors, that is one and that number, and that number is called that given number is called a prime number. But if we take a number and that number has more than two factors, then that number is called a composite number. I hope all of you are clear about. What is prime number and what is composite number? Now let us start over here. See what are the definition for prime numbers? The numbers who has only uh, one and number itself are called prime numbers. That is two, three, five, seven, eleven, etc. But those numbers having more than two factors are called composite numbers. Right? Okay. You can take the example of here. That is four, six, eight, ten, and twelve, etc. Okay. So one. The case of one is something different. You might there might be a question that what is one? Is one a prime number or one a composite number? Yes, it's a confusion. It may come to you, but you remember one thing, very important. One is neither a prime or a composite number. One is a special number. It's called special status. The idea here. One is neither prime nor composite. Okay, good. Then to find how can we have Okay, let us let me give you another data and the information. That is, one is neither a prime number nor a composite number, and two is the smallest prime number. You see, why two is a prime number? Because you know two has only two factors, two itself and one. So two is the smallest prime number, and two is the only even number which is prime. It will work. It will work for you when MCQ question comes. Remember. One is neither prime nor composite. Two is the smallest prime number. Two is the smallest prime number, and two is the only even number which is prime. Okay, so this is very important for all of you. Please remember it. This kind of question comes in MCQ, right? Okay, to find how can I get you know prime number, composite number? There was a mathematician who found a rule. The name of that mathematician is. Aristotanus Aristotanus he found a method and that method is named according to him it is from Aristotanus math method where what he did he wrote numbers from 1 to 100 by making 10 rows and 10 columns right then what he did one is what special number as i told you it is not prime not composite so he left it okay now take two after taking two what you will do we will cross all the multiples of six Multiples of two. What are the multiples of two? Are you here? Go back to your childhood days. Yes. Tables. When you go for tables, you will get the multiples of two. Two multiplied by one is two. Two multiplied by two is four. Two multiplied by three is six. Two. This is the first step when you were in you know kindergarten or you may be in standard one. So here you take all the numbers that is multiple of two and you just cross it. Make a cross mark over here. Now it is over. Next, come to two, three. Now, take all the multiples of three and also cross it. Like three multiplied by one is three. Three multiplied by two is six. Three multiplied by three is nine. Like that, you know, cross all those things. Then what happens? Then take five. Four is already gone. Have already crossed. Now five is there. Now take all the multiples of five. How can you know? 
at the unit place if there is 5 or 0 that is present then we we can calculate that number as multiple of 5 right so take it now 6 is already crossed now go to 7 we take all the multiples of 7 and cross it put cross marks over this okay now your job is done what happens now if you see which numbers are left uncrossed means where we have not put the cross mark those numbers are prime numbers those numbers are prime numbers except one except one now you see 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 47 53 59 then 61 67 71 73 79 then 83 89 97 these are the prime numbers within 100 and rest cross marked things are composite numbers and one is neither prime nor composite okay this is a very easy method to find out you must practice it in your notes and you must remember the prime numbers and composite numbers below 100 it will it will work magic for you right okay let's now discuss about some rules and some properties what is that this is all about the methods what i've told to you people now we will discuss about one thing that is pin primes we discussed about prime numbers and we discussed about composite numbers we discussed about even numbers we discussed about what odd numbers now we have got four things with us even numbers odd numbers prime numbers composite numbers okay now a new concept has come that is pin primes what do you mean by pin primes pin primes means look uh, we have suppose we take the number system in number system two consecutive or prime numbers are known as pin primes if these prime numbers have only one composite number between them okay now let us discuss how it is how can you find pin primes see here what happens what are the prime numbers i told you earlier that one is not prime not composite so leave it two is the smallest prime number okay three is another prime number that's fine four is not prime it is composite number so we cannot take it five is a prime number six is not a prime number it's a composite number because it has two more than two factors seven is a prime number good eight is not a prime number is not a prime number no because you see nine has many factors like one three and nine so nine cannot be a prime number then 10 okay you can take 11 this much you can take 10 is not a prime number so 11 is a prime number now what we will do we will discuss one thing over here that look we will see how many prime numbers are there two then comes three then comes five then comes seven then comes eleven okay if we find two prime numbers and among them and between them if there is a composite number those two numbers are called twin primes how two and three are prime numbers but it cannot be twin primes because in between them there is no composite number so two three cannot be twin primes okay next within three and five we see yes within three and five four is there which is a composite number so three and five are twin primes like that let us see anything else yes and five and seven there is six which is a composite number so five and seven both comes under twin primes but after seven what is there 11 is the next prime number and i want seven and 11 between 7 and 11 there are three composite numbers so it cannot be a twin prime now do you understand if we have two prime numbers and between them if there is one composite number then the two numbers are called twin primes and it's called twin primes okay is it clear very good now I'm clear so three five sorry three five five seven 11 13 17 19 20 31 41 43 like this there are twin primes right very good next now there is another term we would like to discuss that is called prime triplet last time we discussed twin prime now prime triplet triplet means you know three <laughs> prime means three triplet if we have three prime numbers and among them or between them if we have composite numbers then they are called prime triplet you see 
I'm going to give an example over here. That's three, five, seven. Okay. Let us discuss in a better way. Look, here we discussed last time that you know we have got you know certain prime numbers over here. Two, three, five, seven. These are the prime numbers. Now you see between three prime numbers, between three and five, four is a composite number. Between five and seven, six is a composite number. But after seven, it is eleven. So it cannot be possible. If you find three numbers, like three prime numbers, three, five, and seven, three prime numbers, where between them there are only composite numbers, one one composite numbers, then the three numbers are called prime triplet. They're called prime. I hope it is clear to you now. That's why till date we have only one prime triplet. That is three, five, and seven. And after that, I think there are no such prime triplets. If you can search it, it's quite good. Please try to search it. Okay. Now, I will discuss about co-primes. Look, what you've discussed till date, prime, composite, twin primes, prime triplets. Now, we'll discuss about co-prime numbers. What do you mean by co-prime numbers? Co-prime is very, you know, technical uh, issue and it's a very interesting term. Why co-prime means? When prime comes, we think it's a prime number, but it's not like that. When prime comes, we think there must be a prime number. No, it's not. This concept is something new. We can take any two numbers. We can take any two numbers. If there is no common factor between two numbers, between the two numbers, except one, because one is a factor for everyone. So if you don't find a common factor between two numbers, except one, then the two numbers are called co-prime numbers. Let us see some examples over here. As far as definition is concerned, if one is the only common factor between two numbers, then they are called or they are said to be co-prime numbers. Except one, there should not be, there must not be any common factor. Okay, now let us check about 7 and 15. Let us check about 7 and 15. How many factors are there for 7? It is 1 and 7 only. But when you think of 15, it is 1, 3, 5 and 15. So except one, one is the limit. Except one, seven is the only factor for seven. And three, five, 15 are the factors for 15. So here we don't find any common factor between 15 and seven. So seven and 15 are called co-prime numbers. You can take any, any numbers over here. You can take any other numbers. Now let us take two numbers, 14 and 15. And what are the factors of 14? 1, 2, 7, and 14 are the factors of 14, whereas 1, 3, 5, and 15 are the factors of 15. Okay, we leave 1 because we know 1 is a factor of every number. So leave it. Except 1, let us check is there any common factor between 14 and 15? Oh, I think no, because 2 is there, it is not here, 7 it is not here, 14 it is not here, 3 is not here, 5 is not here, 15 is not here. So we can say 14 and 15 are, are co-prime numbers, are co-prime numbers. Don't be confused that 15 is not a prime number. No, there should not be a prime number. You can take any two numbers. If they don't have any common factor except one, then those numbers are called co-prime numbers. Thank you all. Thanks for watching this video. If possible, please, if you like it, like and subscribe the video. Thank you.